Credits is a main currency in World of Tanks Blitz. With credits, we purchase tanks, equipment for them, ammunition, and even accelerate crew training. As a result, all players constantly face credit shortages. But I'm excited to share some tips in this video that will help you increase your income in battles. As a result, you'll always have several million credits in reserve, and you won't encounter any issues when buying new tanks. I'm Swetchman, let's go! Friends, in today's tech-savvy world, it's no secret that for many people, YouTube is the primary source of income. Each of you can start creating videos right now and earn from it. You don't even need a computer because the most crucial aspect of any video is high-quality sound. That's why I want to recommend an excellent service from my friends, my vocal AI. This service uses artificial intelligence and can replicate your voice or any other voice in just a few clicks. All you need to do is record 25 phrases or upload an audio file with any voice and the neural network will create an exact copy. After that, you can use your voice to narrate any text or even listen to how you sing different tracks. And now I beg to see you dance just one more time. Ooh, happy, make me wanna cry. And with the promo code SWETCHVOICE23, you'll get a 23% discount. Start earning online with my vocal AI. All the details will be in the description. Now let's start this video with the most obvious tip. If you want to earn more credits, you need to be more effective in battles. Credits are not just awarded for winning. The most crucial factors include the damage dealt, the number of kills, and various nuances like spotting enemies or capturing points. By the way, on my channel you'll find plenty of helpful videos on this topic, so don't forget to subscribe. Now let's dive right in. In addition to first tip, I'd like to mention that earning mastery badges will also get you more credits. For example, achieving a third or second class badge will give you a nice bonus, but if you earn a first class badge or even ace medal, you'll receive a significant credit boost at the end of the battle. That should motivate you to strive for excellence. Friends, on my Patreon, you'll have early access to all my new videos before they're published on YouTube. The link will be in description. Now, let's move on to some less obvious tips. Firstly, use credit boosters. It's probably the most effective way to increase your income after a battle. However, there are three types of boosters. Regular, blue, and epic, purple. You might think that combining boosters to get a higher level one is a good idea, but this is a common mistake, not just for beginners, but also for many skilled players. The issue is that when you combine boosters, you spend three regular grey boosters to get just one booster of the next level up. This is very inefficient when you consider it over several battles. For example, if you play three battles with regular grey boosters, you'll earn more credits than in one battle with a blue booster. So if you have a lot of boosters, don't rush to combine them. However, this practice doesn't apply to all boosters. Boosters for free and regular experience are better combined because with X3 or X5 experience multipliers, you'll get a more significant one-time effect with a purple booster compared to grey or blue ones. The second most effective tip is to try playing with a premium account because it increases your credit earnings by 50%, regardless of whether you win or lose. Of course, not everyone has a premium account, but obtaining one for free is still quite feasible. You can get it through clan missions, various in-game events that happen frequently, ranging from major events to regular quests. Also, make sure to actively complete the Battle Pass, which is updated monthly. Even if you haven't purchased it, you can still get plenty of freebies, from a premium account to credits and even gold. And I almost forgot to mention the in-game modes that are constantly available. Among them, it's best to play Big Boss and Uprising. In these game modes, you'll earn an incredible amount of credits, even for losses. Additionally, you can heal allies in these modes, so if you're not comfortable on the front lines, you can still earn credits by assisting your teammates. Let's move on! I've already mentioned premium account, but what's a premium account without a tier 8 premium tank? And yes, I emphasize the tier 8 because this is where you'll find the most profitable and interesting tanks for credit farming. The best part is that most of them can be purchased for a small fee. For example, you could get the low for just 5,000 gold, and it's an excellent tank for beginners. Additionally, all players who have researched 10 levels of clan supply and personal access have the opportunity to buy the IS-5 for only 1500 gold, which is a pretty decent tank if you don't have any 8th the tier premium tanks. By the way, would you like me to make a video on how to get gold for free? Share your thoughts in the comments and let's move on. I also want to point out a common mistake made by most players, one that everyone initially made, but only experienced players stopped doing, not buying provisions and premium ammunition. I often see players who don't even equip their tanks with equipment because they think it saves them credits, and they believe this will lead to higher earnings. However, in reality, it doesn't work that way. Without all of these, your performance in battle significantly drops, and you end up ignoring what I mentioned at the beginning of the video. The battle result is the most crucial factor for earning credits. Without equipment, you're unlikely to achieve mastery badges, depriving yourself of additional income. Furthermore, playing with an unequipped tank becomes nearly impossible and after a few battles, you'll probably want to quit the game and forget about credit farming. 
Take a look at how your primary premium tank should be equipped. Firstly, it should be a tank you enjoy playing because when you're on a tank you love, you lose track of time. Secondly, look at provisions, ammunition, and equipment. They should all be optimized to maximize your tank's performance. Get your tank ready and head into battle. Lastly, I want to share some small tips. Let's begin with tank's birthday. Sometimes when you log into the game, you'll see a message indicating that it's your tank's birthday. Winning battles with that tank on its birthday will earn you X5 experience and X2 credits. Additionally, keep an eye out for special events in the game, typically on holidays or significant dates. For example, on the game's anniversary, you might be able to purchase tanks at a 50% discount. Just remember that selling tanks during these events will also be at a discounted rate. So if you need to sell a tank, it's better to wait until the event is over. Most importantly, start monitoring where you spend your credits. Avoid spending them on paid camouflage as you can use rarer ones that don't cost credits. Also, don't use premium ammunition on tanks that you can penetrate with regular rounds. For example, if you're shooting at a heavy tank head-on, premium rounds might be necessary. But if you're flanking or hitting it from the rear, switch to regular ammunition to save credits. These small choices can help you save and maximize your credit earnings. In conclusion, I want to say that if you combine all these tips, get yourself a good premium tank, activate a premium account, use boosters and head into battle, especially in modes like Big Boss, there's a 99% chance you'll earn more credits than the thumbnail of this video suggests. Wishing everyone good fortune and successful credit farming. Thanks for watching and see you soon, dear viewer. Bye.